Hello, uh, the goal for today is I'm gonna finish up a roll of film. I'm gonna take you guys downtown. I'm gonna take you guys downtown. I'm shooting uh, Ilford XP2 400. Uh, it's a black and white film with, and it's done in C41 color processing, so this is gonna be cool. I've only ever shot one other roll of black and white film in my whole life, so I'm excited to, to see what's going on. Uh, you'll be right up here. Let's get out there. Right here, and three, two, one. Awesome, All right. thank you. I hope you enjoyed that little montage. I'll be flashing a couple other pictures I got on the roll as I'm talking. So, Ilford XB2. This film struck me in a way that I wasn't quite expecting. Um, it was more contrasty than I thought. I was kind of expecting something more along the lines of, along the lines of HP5. But um, there was, there's quite a lot of like, dark areas and um, there wasn't that kind of flat look that you can get with HP5 which is you know it's a double-edged sword because you you do get like a, a nice look right out of the camera but or right out of the developing but um you don't have that versatility when it comes to pushing and pulling and I, I tried to well, not pushing and pulling bringing up the shadows or bringing down the highlights I don't know if it was just the quality of the scans or not but um that's just kind of the result that I got with the film. The tones were nice though. It was it was nice getting the city colors and how they were rendered in black and white. It's very good for walking around downtown. It the film came out quite grainy, more grainier than I expected. It is a, a 400 speed film, but um, I don't remember getting that grain with HP5. Um, I don't know if that's it's part of the unique color processing or, or what, but um, next time I think I'll, I'll be aiming to overexpose by a stop to kind of retain those those shadow details. Um, if if you're choosing between this and HP5, I, I um, this is this is just a tad bit more expensive. It's it's cool to try out. Um, I say if you're the type of person that uh, doesn't want to do a lot of editing, um, go go for this. Um, you you get nice tones right out of the right out of the box, um, but if if you if you want more detail or you like tweaking your tones to your content, HP five is probably the way to go. Uh, that's it. Those are just my thoughts. Um, if you have any experience with the film, comment below. Maybe we'll uh, have a little discussion. So thanks for watching.